When we started working with blueberries in the early 1990s, there was under 4,000 acres of blueberries in Georgia. Now there are close to 20,000, and the industry has grown to over $150 million in value. This map shows where the blueberry farms are located in the southeast corner of the state, where the soil is rich and very acidic. The blueberry breeding program got its first start in the 1930s, and in 1945 Dr. Brightwell started his program, and many of you might have heard of the Brightwell Blueberry, which is still used today. We have research farms in Alapaha and Griffin. The next set of slides show a little about our breeding program. It starts with the cross-pollination of flowers in the greenhouse. We collect the fruit as it ripens and store it in a refrigerator until all the fruit has been harvested. We then put the fruit in a blender to extract the seed. The seed are then cleaned and stored in the cooler until they are ready to plant. The seed are planted and put into a grow chamber to germinate. Once the plants have germinated and reached a size big enough to plant, they are put into cell trays and put into the greenhouse to grow large enough to plant in bark beds. There they will be evaluated and the best plants will be selected and planted in the field on various farms for further evaluation. The process from cross to new variety release can take close to 12 years. The breeding program is based on commercial needs such as increased fruit size, early ripening varieties, short ripening periods, late flowering times, and increased fruit firmness. Consumers use Georgia blueberries in many new products and to start new businesses. Over the past years, we have branched out to include ornamental blueberry plants in all different shapes and colors of plants and berries. The program takes a lot of support staff, facilities, and equipment to make it successful. We have support from growers with on-farm trials. And no, that's not a South Georgia kangaroo. Visitors come from around the world to view the blueberries developed here. The blue dots on this map show the locations where the blueberries developed at UGA have ended up. This is a list of blueberry plants released here and is growing as we speak. As you can see, the UGA Blueberry Breeding Program has come a long way since the 1930s and has made a big impact in Georgia and around the world. Thank you.